Welcome again to another episode of Chem in 3. And with the IB 2018 exam in chemistry coming up in just about 12 days, I just finished taking a look at the report by the IB chemistry examiners on the November 2017 exam. And today I'm going to be sharing three important pages out of that report that gives specific tips about difficult topics and important topics for SL students, for HL students, and for the general conduct of the entire chemistry examination. But this being Chem in 3, I've decided to take out three of those tips to share specifically before going in to take a look at the general tips. And first, for HL students only, I want to discuss about 3D representations of chiral species. And here I have a model of a chiral structure, recalling that a chiral structure is one that's made up of a central carbon, an asymmetric carbon, attached to four different groups. And it can be represented, the 3D structure can be represented in this way on paper, with this solid line at the bottom here, representing a bond to a hydrogen, which is this bond here, in front of the plane. And the NH2 is behind the plane. Here, I'm holding it behind. That's behind the plane, and it's represented by the dotted line. And then the two groups that are on this plane together are given straight line structures. Here, the CH3 and the OH group here. So this is how you represent a chiral structure like this on paper to demonstrate where this is in relation to the overall structure in front of the plane and where this group is behind the plane. And you should recall that a chiral species is one where the central carbon atom is attached to four different groups. And that, of course, chirality or handedness gives rise to optical isomerism. And this brings us to another important tip highlighted in the examiner's report, the fact that organic chemistry is not a topic to be taken lightly. It's a very important topic, it's a central topic in chemistry, and it's important for all students to prepare topics 10 and topic 20 thoroughly for the IB examination. And in addition, it's important to include hydrogen NMR spectroscopy, which forms a part of both topics 11.3 and topic 21. It will be well worth your while to spend some time in the remaining days preparing for organic chemistry and spectroscopy. And then two other tips, one specifically targeted to SL students and of course applicable to all students, is with this topic that's generally taken as a simple one when students study it, but towards the end of the course it's easy to forget that when you're doing calculations involving mc delta t, this mass multiplied by the specific heat capacity, which is typically the heat capacity of water, is multiplied by the change in temperature. But this mass is not the mass of the substance per se that's being dissolved in water, but it's the mass based on the volume of water that you have in the container. And sometimes, and of course you can adjust that mass based on the mass of the salt or the substance that's being dissolved, but the mass to be used in MC delta T calculations is primarily the mass of water contained in the reaction vessel. Another significant and important tip that could lead to loss of marks if it's not followed is how you draw a Lewis electron dot structure. And here you can see a typical structure for an oxygen joined to a hydrogen with one covalent bond and two lone electron pairs, which can be represented by two dots or by a single solid line. But what students tend to forget is suppose it were that a chlorine was forming a single bond here. This chlorine would have to have all of its lone pairs included to get a full Lewis dot structure for this molecule. It's often that students forget to include these lone pairs on the peripheral atoms. So let's end up now with a look at all of the important tips provided by the IB examiners in the November 2017 examiners report.